Neurodivergent adults have more challenges than most. Over 80% live with other family with nothing to do all day and no feeling of purpose. Beacons provides options for these young adults to get out of the house and have a purpose, which often includes a job, and connect with others. There weren't a lot of options coming out of high school, but Beacons North County, with its warm, fun, inviting atmosphere, quickly became my second home. The skills that I have known at Beacons has helped me to be confident in my work abilities. These three readings today about virtue, wisdom, and humility have a common thread, namely service to others. The virtuous woman in the proverb provides for her family and extends her hands to the needy. In James, we are encouraged to live a life of service with gentleness born of heavenly wisdom. And the Holy Gospel encourages us to be humble and put others before ourselves, just as Jesus did and was again about to with his predicted death and resurrection. Beacons provides vocational, recreational and social activities, as well as educational and other support services to neurodivergent adults and their support teams to create pathways and outcomes to improve access to employment, the community, and social connections. It was founded by my wife and a few other parents because there was nothing else like it for these young adults after high school. Adults with intellectual disabilities are generally born with their disabilities. They are without fault. And yet this segment of our population is among the most marginalized or discriminated against. Unemployment with this group is above 80%. The average annual income is approximately $9,000, which is over 30% below the federal poverty guideline. As a result, over 80% live with other family with nothing to do all day and no feeling of purpose. You can imagine how lonely and unfulfilling that could be. Beacons provides options for these young adults to get out of the house and have a purpose, which often includes a job, and connect with others. And speaking of virtue and humility, these neurodivergent adults live a life that honors God. They fully appreciate they have more challenges than most. They accept it. And when together, they are so gentle and kind, too, and supportive and encouraging of each other. There is not judgment, just acceptance of everyone's differences. And they are humble, like you have not seen before. Now you will hear from two of my very favorites, namely my son Wesley and Allie Hayes, who is Connie and Woody's granddaughter. Both are longtime parishioners at St. Peter's and have been involved with Beacon since the beginning, and are unequivocally two of the kindest adults you have ever met. Hi, my name is Allie Hayes. I would like to tell you about Beacon and how super awesome it is. I am currently in the Explore program, where we explore our interests and non self skills. Here are some things we do in Explore. Creative design. We make calls on the computer, teachers, um, candles, coasters, dog sweets, mocktail mix, which we sell at our Minko's market. Self skills. We are on retail, groceries, restaurants, business, and communication skills. We plant and harvest our fruits and vegetables from our garden. And we then make delicious food to enjoy. We have fitness every Thursday to work on our strength and balance. We volunteer in our community. We volunteer here at St. Peter's Rip Shop. We also volunteer at, at the College Bed Animal Shelter, the Camp Store, San Diego Mason, Blue Bank, Eastern Strawberry, and Costa Roots Garden. I really enjoy volunteering every Monday at St. Peter's Rip Shop. I organize the bags and help with the cash register. The skills that I have known at Beacons has helped me to be confident in my work abilities. I am so grateful for the support and my amazing instructors and staff at Beacons. They are helping me to grow and plan my future. Thank you for letting me share how special Beacons is. Thank you, St. Peter's, for your support of Beacon. Thank you. Hi. I've been attending St. Peter's Church for over 15 years. I went to the Carson High School for 
for four years and graduated when I earned my high school diploma in 2018 as a young adult with a developmental disability. There weren't a lot of options coming out of high school, but Beacons North County with its warm, fun, inviting atmosphere and dedicated staff quickly became my second home. I enrolled the Pathfinder program, which was a game changer. The structured environment provided me with the tools and support I needed to, to develop essential life skills. I learned how to manage my finances, prepare meals, um, and even navigate public transportation. Most importantly, I gained confidence in my abilities and discovered a sense of belonging. A sense of belonging. One of my favorite memories from Beacons was working there in site maintenance where I emptied the trash, take out the recycling, and emptying the food waste. I'm also very fortunate for my time at Beacons. Thank you. Thank you both once again. As we wrap up, I'd first like to thank Mother Paige again for her, uh, for this opportunity and for her longtime support of Beacons. Last year, St. Peter's and this congregation donated approximately $4,500 to Beacons. We fully appreciate that there are many, many charitable organizations to choose from, and we appreciate that you have chosen Beacons once again. At the end of the day, it is all about love. It is about loving God, loving yourself, and loving your neighbors as yourself. The most miraculous gift of love is it is within us at the present moment and been there all along. We just have to find it, tap into it, and then join Jesus as he walks in love with the marginalized and those in need. God bless.